all welcome to komlima morning classes happy morning all of you happy morning evening batch oh today is evening no <laughs> happy evening all uh, see when you are you have a big dream and you are preparing for your exam that time you will be getting many doubts no how to study uh, if, if i am studying that time i'll come across through uh, some kind of uh, depression or uh, like feeling something low and if someone criticizes how to take that and uh, you know if i am not able to manage my time how to manage my time how i should study physics chemistry bio like that you will be having many uh, doubts in your heart so that's why i asked you send your uh, what to say your problems write on one paper and send me that time you all sent me i read all that after that i was thinking what i should do because every day i'll give you suggestions every day i'll motivate you every day i'll talk to you but still you need something more so that time i got that idea i should call someone uh, like gampa sir who is a great uh, in this particular field so i bought sir after that again i was thinking what i should do still more for you that time i got this uh, all our uh, your seniors are there i have made them one group means who studied uh, in our classes and got medical seats and doing mbbs one group is there komali ma'am future doctors one group is there in that all your seniors will be there last year who studied in our class so that that time i got that idea that your the your seniors like uh, you know today i am going to introduce uh, one of your senior he worked like you know another form of hard work okay i'll uh, i'll call him i'll introduce one second let me see he joined or not how are you today no class no huh? happy you huh? hi and beta milan hi and ma'am good evening oh. ma'am yeah good evening how are you fine ma'am happy to see you again <laughs> in this class ma'am even me i am so happy to see you after a yes, long time uh, yes ma'am remembering the old days of my classes <laughs> by seeing your face immediately i remembered that okay okay but uh, i'm really really very very happy to see you today like this yes now that yes, your ma journey ma and your yes ma'am share it all is this because of you ma'am <laughs> no, no, thank no, you very much ma'am uh, okay uh, will you start your session ah, yes ma'am oh. yeah and shall i start now yes you can yes. yeah good evening ma'am good evening to all present here myself i am indra tamlan i am now a first year mbbs student in tenalveli medical college and i am from uh, tamil nadu so i was one of the student in uh, komli ma'am classes i was i am very happy to see ma'am again in the same classes i am remembering my old days so now i am here to share some few tips on time management first of all i uh, what uh, what i have i have to say that you you have made a right choice of joining in komli ma'am class because ma'am will motivate you ma'am will teach you with very good tricks ma'am will give you health tips which will make you more energetic to study and uh, really i'm very frustrated to talk in front of you just because before i was one of my student in komli ma'am class now i'm here to speak so i thank god and i thank my parents who are a big support for this and i'm without talking much on that let's go into the session first time management when it comes to time time management first you have to manage time for preparation for revision and for the exam time during the exam time for the preparation 
if you are joining for chemistry you don't worry because you are in komli ma'am's class ma'am will take care of all the revision and all the mock tests and all that you don't worry about that but when it comes to physics and biology we if you have already joined we have yes, physics also this year <laughs> yes ma'am <laughs> okay yeah please carry on yes sir <laughs> okay. for physics and uh, biology if you have jo already joined in a coaching institute just uh, follow the same schedule but if you are preparing on your own you have to allot the schedule which is comfortable to you like uh, you have to allot a subject like uh, for example if you take uh, in physics electromagnet uh, uh, first uh, electromagnetics or you have to split the chapter like mechanics heat all it is that then my biology if you take a harder subject in physics then you take a light chapter in biology so that you can manage in the time so punctuality the time management is very very important so that you can finish in a time and you give much more time for the practice for both physics and chemistry you need more practice practicing of questions that is practice makes a man perfect here works out you have to work out many problems because on working out the problems you will come to understand on which topic or in which uh, particular sub topic you are weak If you're weak in that, go and again revise in the same. So if it when it comes to physics, only practice. So when we take an eleventh and twelfth chapters, for eleventh chapter you will be consuming more time because uh, if you come to laws of motion, all that it will be a very big chapter. But when it comes to twelfth, all will be formula applying so that you can finish in a less number of time. But if you have uh, revised already, it will be very much easy. For eleventh, it takes more time, but if when it comes to twelfth, it will take less time. and for problem solving also 11th questions will take more time while considerably the 11th uh, 12th uh, problems will be more easy to solve which will be more based on the formulas so you have to prepare the time and uh, i think so if you if you start preparing from august till march april maybe the next need maybe need 2024 maybe in uh, may so you have 9 months of time you have to split it into the preparation time and the revision time the preparation time suppose if you are giving 7 months or 6 months then the rest of the time is for revision first in the preparation you have to finish all the topics and rather than finishing the all topics you have to revise the topics at regular intervals that makes you uh, succeed more because just completing the chapters and going on will not uh, work out here you have to revise at regular intervals suppose at least for a month you have to revise or at least at two weeks so how you are comfortable with you have to check it out and you have to revise at a particular regular intervals the past chapters then only at the revision time you will find it easy to move on and you will be having more time to practice mock test question papers and all that so if you don't uh, uh, revise at regular intervals during a preparation time at the revision time you will be again going through some difficulties in remembering the formulas and remembering the concepts then you will be taking some more time so that uh, leads to a time it um, consumes more time right so if you practice more mock test question papers you will there comes the time management for the exam so when it comes to examination you have to follow a certain schedule that is a order order of the suppose if you are following first if you are following writing biology next is chemistry next is physics that that the order may vary but the most probable order which will work out is biology next to chemistry next to physics because biology will give you more confidence next is chemistry next is physics but if you are good at physics and like that then you can first biology next to physics you can change order but the order which you are following from the first to till the end of the next neat examination you have to follow the same order so if you change the order at the last minute then you will be having some difficulties so the following the order plays a very much important role and next when it comes to biology if you come to biology in biology you have to split up 11 chapters 12 chapters already if many of them have read it already so you will find it easy but it, in your reading it newly so you have to segregate it first which you have which you already know which you know some uh, like uh, evolution if you take it in evolution chapter it will be very much remembering topic right so you will find it difficult so that you have to revise at regular intervals the years and uh, all that so you have to analyze first which we can uh, just read and go which we have to revise at regular intervals so that even it comes to chemistry and also the same first is split into organic physical and inorganic some may be comfortable with organic some may be comfortable with physical chemistry and organic chemistry for chemistry really uh, what i follow during my preparation time is komli ma'am most fully and ncert these two help me a lot to score marks and i have scored 135 marks in chemistry in only 2022 so that helped me a lot only ncert and komli ma'am marks that is enough okay 
I followed that only. And for chemistry also, follow all the matrix, follow all the tips and tricks which maps gives because during the reaction, you will not be uh, at the end of the mechanism or uh, at the end of some uh, re reaction, Ma'am will give some tips. If you follow the tips and if you remember the tips, during the examination, it will be very easy. The time consumption for that question will be low so that for another question like physical chemistry or for physics, you can consume more time. So this from the starting, uh, some may think at the last we have we can manage the time. No, the time management has to be done from the starting. So if you follow from the start, then it will be very easy for your uh, neat examination. So neat examination, as you have only three hours and 20 minutes, like 200 questions. So you have to manage within that time for biology, for physics. So if you fall, uh, previously what I said during uh, preparation time, if you revise the trickle intervals, you will have more time for practicing mock test question papers, right? So if you follow the mock test question papers, then you will be, uh, you'll come to understand that you will yourself know, uh, oh, I'm completing biology in this much of time, the chemistry in much of time. So you can come to an idea and you can manage that time. So that, plays are very important to uh, split the chapters, revise it regularly, uh, follow uh, NCRT is very much important for biology as all you know. And uh, last year, NEET 2023 as rank list has been released. As I am from Tamil Nadu state, I have analyzed it. Uh, it uh, really hiked nearly 400 to 500 ranks previously and now. So depending on the question paper, the ranks will be. So you have to prepare it very hardly so prepare it correctly and uh, next is uh, what can i say the time management split in the preparation time on all you have to prepare it revise at regular intervals next uh, during the neat examination don't get frustrated that is the first and foremost thing that you have to do don't get frustrated on seeing the question paper if you get frustrated at the starting, then the known questions will go wrong. Okay. So don't get frustrated. And during the need times, don't just worry. Just motivate yourself. Uh, try to come, come back to studying state. Okay. Be in that, stay in that state, stay motivated. Uh, okay. So that is a main thing. If you are studying in a need coaching center or that is, you will be okay. But if you're doing self preparation, there'll be a lot of distractions you will be going through. All the distractions has to be avoided in order to succeed. If you avoid that, then later you will get more uh, happiness, right? Even after entering MBBS, you will realize very proud, right? See, before I was a Comlimum student, now I'm speaking in front of you because I have sacrificed many things. Sacrificing many things also, also plays a major important role. So time management, revising at regular intervals, it plays a major important role. First biology, next, give the priority like that. Score most in biology, next uh, chemistry, next is physics. Then if you are comfortable with physics and chemistry, you can interchange it. But probably the chemistry and biology, without biology, you can't do nothing. So biology is all about remembering and marking up, right? It's related to that. So if some things can be understood, but something, if it is related to evolution, you can't understand, you just have to make it up. So there is your remembering skill. So for that only I said before itself, you have to remember at regular intervals, split it into chapters, revise, practice more questions for chemistry. Every day, if you have completed some topics, practice the same day, evaluate yourself. Evaluation plays a major role. Suppose if you have done up wrong in that particular topic, go again, revise and again do the problem. So such that you will not do again in the next uh, repeated test. And after finishing a question paper or evaluation, just go through where I have did mistake, where I have to correct it myself, then go and correct it then and there itself. Because if you tell that, uh, if you leave it, then uh, at the last, there will be more consumptions of wrong questions, which you, if you not revise it again, the wrong questions, then at the last, you will be having a much burden. At the last time, you will have only time for revision and practicing questions. You will not have question, you will, you will not have time for uh, just uh, revising the concept. That, that don't work it out. During the revision time, only the work you have is to remember the formulas and just practicing the mock test question papers. Um, for my, what my opinion is, you have to do at least two to three months of revision. 
if you do two to three months of revision first the revision also you should not from the starting itself at this after completing the preparation you can write a mock test but not every day first you have to split it into chapters like whole physics whole chemistry or or first 11th physics uh, 12th physics 11th chemistry 12th chemistry like that you have to split it then you have to do just evaluate yourself there are many test series available and for chemistry as i said all complements notes is enough because i followed purely i followed only complements notes and after finishing after the notes i gave the notes to my uh, relatives like that they are using it they said it is very helpful likewise the ma'am notes is obviously very much helpful and ncert it's enough and uh, this is that and if i have any, if you have any questions you can ask to me just i can answer you if you have any questions just please ask it out can you see the questions in bat milan in the chat um i must wait i'll still they are sending you once checked i must ma'am Okay. bro can you help us with getting away from this text it's all about to you you have to get it at just uh, remember the last day the end may of need and after the life of need with white paper and then state in your neck which will be a very much good feeling ever you have felt so away from distractions just please stay motivated please stay in front of if you are preparing if you are preparing on your go just stay in front of your parents and don't uh, avoid the mobiles mostly you prepare on uh, you can see videos uh, rather than from classes uh, during revision you keep your phone or give your phone to your parents so that they will not so you can avoid from getting distractions and for biology ncert alone itself more than it's enough i think so last uh, i don't know in uh, but in 2022 all the questions asked were from purely from ncert not from any other question not a, from any other books right not Away from any concepts, so NCERT is enough. For last year only fifth qualifying marks, can we crack NEET this year if we follow time? See for biology, I have joined in coaching institute. I have purely followed for biology that, and chemistry and physics also mostly have used to that. Rather than from physics, if you are starting from the beginning, you can use D C Pandey. but uh, that dc pande uh, it's uh, i have, personally i will refer dc pande is will be better for the integrated courses because they will be having much time two years time so they can revise so they can uh, solve each and every questions so if you have any coaching institute materials that follow that or a dc pande for uh, physics and for biology it is if you are not joining any coaching institute then you can follow ncert at fingertips that is enough okay that is enough how to stay consistent consistent just stay motivated that staying in the motivation will make you consistent revise keep a motivation that you have to get medical seat that is very much important so already i said for that for biology in bat milan um, ma'am small request from my side suppose if anyone wants to talk to you if they raise their no, hand last 5 minutes will you give time for them to talk to you directly No, yes, ma'am. It's an hour, so it's okay. Now, it's okay. okay for me, ah, if anyone yes, wants okay, to talk to in Batam Milan, you yes. please raise a hand. He will. I'll make you co-host. Okay. So just ah, okay, yes, your students. No, yes, ma'am. So how to balance board and needs? So if you are in CBC, you will not get worried about that. And if for. Uh, Ah, uh, if you are studying in state board, and if you want to prepare the NEET also, just concentrate more on NEET because you have aimed to become a doctor, right? So concentrate more on that. If you concentrate more on that, so you can manage with the board. But you have to concentrate. If you are concentrating at uh, NEET, you have to concentrate it correctly so that you will get it. You for sure you will get the MBBS seat. Because if you are concentrating totally at NEET, and if you are leaving board exams, the so board exam marks will go down. May go down. So if it goes down, and if you are not concentrated and eat also correctly, then you'll be in a very much difficulty situation, right? So whatever you are choosing, you have aim to become a doctor. So concentrate more on it. That will be my advice. And for uh, 
CBSE, I think so. It will, it will not be that much difficult. Uh, physics, chemistry, bio, all will be the same. But for other subjects, see how to study. At least uh, before board exams, you can study. I was a repeater, and I am a state board student. Is it compulsory to be? Not just pass mark is enough for in board. According to Tamil Nadu board, pass mark is enough. Pa uh, that is not important. During class, if you want to improve your concentration, all is that motivate. Just uh, uh, what uh, make yourself interested in studying that, so that you can achieve what you thought. Right. Uh, my score in NEET in two thousand twenty-two, I scored five seventy-nine. So that was enough for me to get a seat in the government college, and I'm now in Trinavelli Medical College. Uh, in Bet Million, can you take Kamlesh? Kamlesh? Yes, ma'am. Kumar. Oh, okay. Ma ah. Hi, Kamlesh. Yes, ma'am. Good evening, ah, ma'am. Yeah. Good evening. Please, you can talk. To me. Good evening, bro. Ah, good evening. Good evening. My my question is that can you suggest an offline test series in TN? Any offline, offline test series from Ta Tamil Nadu? Ah, yes. Yeah, from Tamil Nadu, I can suggest a green mark, which will be very good for the test series because I uh, many suggested for me also because I uh, I don't know whether I, I have I have got coaching from Green Park and the test series will be very much good from a Green Park institution rather than from money uh, test series will be good because uh, the revision they are following that will be very good the question papers that they are giving will be very standard. The biology question papers, it will be very good. Biology, chemistry, physics, and all will be in the standard of NEET. But, uh, from the starting, there will be much, some difficulty questions. They will include uh, topics or questions from the concepts other than NCRT. But at last, when it comes to when it comes close to NEET exam, they'll concentrate more on the NCRT so that you can practice it easily. Uh, other than that, I don't know anything personally. This is what my opinion. Suggestion also. You're muted, I think. Uh, thank you, Kamlesh. <clears throat> Yajini, please unmute your phone. Yes, ma'am. Ah, please carry on. Uh, yeah, one more question, uh, Yajini, please. Good evening, good evening. If all the chapters uh, are good evening, good evening. Yeah. Uh, I can't uh, understand your question. Can you please repeat it again? Is it compulsory to study all the chapters in physics to get good mark? Um, yeah, the more weighted chapters are there too. But uh, completely, because what I'm saying is that uh, if you study 50% of the chapter, is it that is enough. But what I will say is that 50% of the chapter, you have to attend all the questions, whether it comes from, uh, from the topic or out of the topic, you have to answer. That much you have to be confident that. If you're confident, then you can answer some of the and percent of the chapter more important you can study. But you have to answer all the questions which comes from the topic, from the chapter. So if you say hundred percent of the chapter, at least from the seventy-five percent of the chapter you study, it will come from the NCRT, and it will be known to you so that you can answer the question and you can get some enough marks to get into a big college. So my suggestion and is always to read all the chapter. And one more question. Yajini, please carry on. What is your question? One more question. Yajini, unmute your phone. Why ten? Part is that the material is enough for physics. See, 
i have seen all the coaching materials uh, which are yeah yeah sorry ma'am ha huh, it's interrupted it's okay see you can take yeah. any coaching material you take but be consistent if they came up to the coaching material means any coaching material will be helpful for you you can take mtg but you can take green park you can... high... ha huh, that's what you will come to know when you solve the question uh, n vitamin please carry on i'll talk to them every day namaste ha huh, okay Yes. She is asking which materials are good. Correct, Yajini. Ah, uh, Green Park materials, uh, physics uh, standards are, I think, a little bit high when compared to neat question papers. Yeah. Is it okay, or we can do some? Yeah. What Ah, uh, what I say is that uh, you yeah, first the concepts. First, the uh, what I purely studied is from Green Park material. Uh, from the from the what I have to say from the zero, they'll take the concepts right. So at the starting, what I said is during preparation time you can prepare all that. But when it comes at the revision time, if you have joined it there, they'll give questions only related to the main subject. At last, it will be very useful that remembering the concepts, all that you itself will come to understand. And in the question bank, if you have got it from Green Park. And there will be some formulas. Uh, you you uh, you'll know you'll come to know right. This will be very much important. The faculties they that they say. So from physics, there will be little bit higher than NCERT uh, syllabus or the neat concept only. But if you study from the beginning, it will be very much helpful for you for remembering. Okay. So if you want to ask any question, you can ask. Is the Arava is the best for physics? Yeah, I don't know about uh, that. I have followed DC Pandey, but not completely. Some of the questions I'll practice from DC Pandey. What I followed is for uh, physics is the Green Park material, that Green Park question bank, and uh, this uh, DC Pandey. Yeah, yes, that that is enough. But that you have to complete it thoroughly. That's what whatever the material you take, you have to read it completely. From the nook and corner, you have to complete it. You have to remember is that that plays a major important role. Just uh, many will say that uh, on seeing the book, they refer that book, but they have not got, but they are not uh, satisfied with that. They have to study it completely. Ah, uh, ah, uh, thank you, Yajini. Next student is Pradakshina. Unmute your phone, please. Please ask your question. One minute time is given. Hmm. Hello. Uh, your network is weak. Uh, Subhashi, can you talk? Last two minutes. Uh, hi. Hello. Uh, what is just to learn? Uh, Subhashi, can you uh, can you ask your question? Yeah, ma'am. Uh, so how did you like uh, study all the four subjects every day? Uh, like we have to practice questions also. We have to study. We yeah. have to come up with things. So how did you manage to do that? Yeah, uh, if you can, uh, the question is uh, good. If you're comfortable you. with the studying every four subjects every day, then it is good. Mm -hmm. But if you're not comfortable with that, then for a week you can make a plan that you have to complete the chapter within this time. You have you can you can have two choices. You can read every every. subjects every day or you can study for a week yeah for you can a lot for if you have uh, taken physics to to uh, two chapter or a chemistry two chapter and biology two chapter means you can segregate into a time according to the chapters that i can read this two chapters of physics in first three days so that you can manage with it but you have to complete it for a weekly schedule you, have, you must have a plan that i have to complete these much of chapters that chapters has to be uh Studied that has to be completed in a particular week. Whether you can read it every day or you can read it uh, day by day, that's your choice. Since I have got coaching, they will teach all. But what I used to study is that physics. I used to learn the classes for physics and chemistry. For biology, during the biology class, uh, I'll I'll uh, learn. I'll uh, what I'll see the classes if I do if I'm not uh, okay with that uh, chapter. If I'm okay with the chapter, I'll read other else. and i'll be reading i'll be first i'll read physics then chemistry every day i used to read physics and chemistry but biology during the exam times i will read it 
so the another question is bro how many hours mm -hmm. should we have to spend for need if you study for school as well as a need bro this is our most uh, wanted question to be answered yeah for both the need as uh, you'll be going school every day uh what i said is concentrate more on need because you have aimed it you have to achieve it so concentrate more time on that so if you study uh, now uh, as a syllabus has been changed i think so both the uh, ncrt syllabus and other state syllabus will be more or less equal so that if you study physics chemistry biology in that so you can manage with that but other than that some english tamil max all these subjects that you have to take some more time but likewise uh, from the evening you can study need and after waking up you can at the starting for a little bit of course you can revise uh, your board examinations so you can do like that at the evening you can study for need so you have to fix a target uh, for example uh, for this week i have to complete with that you have to make your own schedule that i can complete this much from uh, suppose if you for an example if you take uh, in physics suppose uh, electromagnetic induction i can complete this within the stipulated time so you can you, you should finish it after finishing that you can concentrate on board because your primary thing is to achieve need you have to become a doctor right so you have aimed for that first complete that then after completing you have to do that but uh, if you are not completed then you should not leave that board also you have to do both but the primary thing you have to concentrate is for need nice in bad yeah. villain super Yes, nicely you spoke and i'll give a, yes, a quick recap of uh, what in batmil and your sir uh, seniors sir na they should call you sir right <laughs> uh, what uh, he covered in today's session uh, he told that we have to do revision do revision at least 15 days once if you do 15 days once revision it is easy for you to remember if you wait up to the end then again you have to spend more time for doing the revision you may forget some concepts so 15 days once you do the revision he told and the second best point what he covered is when you are writing your examination first you have to follow the pattern first you should write biology then chemistry then physics if you follow the from now you start following the pattern you don't wait last minutes i'll start it if you start from now you make it a habituate of that then it is easy you feel comfortable and every uh, revision you have to do he, uh, he told and you just he told that you observe which chapters you feel comfortable first to complete those chapters this is applicable at the end revision end time when you are doing a revision first you finish you should finish the comfortable chapters and uh, he told that manage time from starting because suppose you are writing any coaching whatever coaching you are going any examination any mock test obviously you will select the best coaching so only if you go if you are at a, a, a self study when you are writing an examination from your mentors then whatever the time period given to you you just uh, for example 3 hours time you have to complete check it out how much time within the time you are able to complete the paper he told about the time management and he told that split the chapters when you are doing the revision if you split and study it is easy for you and uh, uh, another point is don't get frustrated when you are preparing stay motivated this is only the difficult task because now you listen nicely by tomorrow morning again frustration will come demotivation will come and you like to cry or you like to something now you'll be happy after some time that's why no need to worry komali ma'am is with you you will be activated and motivated always and uh, to get success you need to sacrifice few things he told he sacrificed many things still i remembered how uh, he studied three friends uh, n batmilan sumitran jagdeeshwar and three are the friends and they joined our class when they are in class 12 yes ma'am <laughs> struggled so much last minute yes ma'am yes ma'am <laughs> last minute they came and their board examinations after that he repeated and he cracked and so see journey um you come across through problems how you face it is most important and he told that practice the questions every day uh, after completion of syllabus write the mock test you know whatever exams you are writing na revise and write revise and write and follow ncert thoroughly he told as in previous examinations if you see all the questions are coming from ncert that is only the logic studying of ncert 
is not you know that is a key backside questions will be there so all the questions your material questions you solve the questions whatever the dc pandit something he books what you are uh, referring first you go through the standards of that material if it is you are able to do that question fine you go through the standard of the book some books will be very high standard don't go through such books you you will be demotivated if you see such books this is my point he did not say he told that uh, for week now uh, you split the chapters he told that is last minutes you should do but now you will be like you should study physics you should study chemistry you should study biology because year now only started but once syllabus completion over then you uh, allocate your time okay na understand everybody he told that if board exam is there neat examination is there then the suggestion which anbat melan gave is little you concentrate more on neat examination because that is your goal board examination you, you manage it he told but he also rushed so much he also cried so much and went to write board examination he also struggled like you and he got good score in even in board examination you have to manage Mm, he did very well in his uh, board exams and then he prepared good for neat examination okay do well huh? uh, i thank you very much to inbatmilan for coming to the session and uh, talking to the juniors i'm really really proud of you unmute your phone unmute your phone thank you very much ma'am and the last point is maintain the sleep cycle you have to sleep at least for 8 hours a day don't sacrifice your sleep that's the first main thing you can sacrifice your your time for using your mobile phone you can sacrifice everything but don't sacrifice sleep because that may affect your health okay health is also very much important so sleep for 8 hours 6 to 8 hours a day if 10 okay. hours anyone yes, is sleeping what suggestion you give 10 hours <laughs> then you have to avoid all the <laughs> then you have to use all the time for study yes, <laughs> then he, he or she should not use the phone or should not get the free time yeah thank you yes. thank you so much in but milan if any in future if you get any of the little small time if you get please yes, come any semester is going on in your college now exams ma'am no ma'am no ma'am no, ma i have a ia internal assessment going on ma'am but uh, university exams will be on uh, november or december ma'am okay okay how is the classes okay. everything going good okay. how is the life after getting cracking neat exam it is it is uh, happy ma'am but uh, so much of difficulties will be there but okay. some satisfaction will be there that we have entered in that, that ah. satisfaction will be there you are you are having that uh, something proud moment Satis happiest yeah, moment and how people yeah. are looking towards you uh, i mean uh, when they see at me i really feel proud of myself uh, that yeah. i i am i am very much a, i am a very good professional so i feel very much proud of myself when they are looking at me yes correct suppose if you i have got a nice respect ha uh, correct from the society yeah yeah suppose if you stopped at that stage when you did not crack uh, if you stop at that stage only demotivating ayo i can't today you don't yes, get that much respect right ha uh, yes but... if i have dropped there then i don't know what, how my life would have been changed because life is all about satisfaction because without satisfaction we can't do anything without satisfaction all things will go wrong correct correct you overcome all those challenges yes, and today you came like this to uh, again to motivate your juniors to make them uh, to build their career in a proper way i'm very proud of you just tell your parents that today formally ma'am told this uh, like this you are the best son to your parents yes, god bless you hmm? uh, yes, once... surely i'll tell you i'll unmute and all. even my parents there also ha huh. tell me please ha huh. one second unmute even my parents also feel very much proud even till now they remember your name and the comely ma'am even i'll be waking up every day to attend your classes so <laughs> that uh, they till now they remember i have said to them that i i am going to speak they feel very much proud and they said that thank you to you ma'am wow because only because of you i am here so nice uh, uh, please all of you unmute and little warm thanks to yes, your senior for spending his almost 40 minutes of his valuable time congratulations anna thank you so much anna thank you thank you so much thank you bro thank you so much bro thank you so much
அண்ணா ஒரு டவுட் இருக்கண்ணா ஆ சொல்லுங்க அண்ணா இப்போ நம்ம 11th 12th பயாலஜி ஸ்டார்ட் பண்ணால நம்மால முடிக்க முடியுமா யா கண்டிப்பா முடிக்க முடியும் बिकॉज டைம் இஸ் தேர் டைம் இருக்குல சோ கண்டிப்பா முடிக்க முடியும் கண்டிப்பா முடிக்க முடியும் இப்போ இருந்து प्रिपरेशन ஸ்டார்ட் பண்ணுங்க கண்டிப்பா உங்களால முடியும் முடியாது எதுவுமே இல்ல அண்ணா செல்ஃப் ஸ்டடி பயாலஜி சிம்பிளிஃபை பண்ணுங்க प्रिपरेशन ஸ்டார்ட் பண்ணுங்க நெக்ஸ்ட் வீக் अगेन एन बैट मिलन इफ यू नीड एन बैट मिलन अगेन आई गिव पोलिंग यू कैन यू विल कम बैक अगेन एंड यू विल आंसर ऑल योर क्वेश्चंस ओके கண்டிப்பா ஸ்டார்ட் प्रिपरेशन ஸ்டார்ட் வாட் இஸ் இட் பண்ணினா பண்ணுங்க பண்ணுங்க we our students have unlimited number of questions okay <laughs> we'll take yes, it one more day okay uh, yes, thank you anna thank you thank you thank you so much uh, thank you one and all and thank you and bat million for uh, coming and uh, you know guiding your juniors see you in tomorrow's class all of you take care have a nice day bye all of you say bye bye ma'am say bye bye yeah. okay Bye ma'am 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 bye 